Hi, I'm Antoine, I'm from Peru, and I finished my third semester in the Construction Management uh, Graduate Program. And there was a time when I arrived and I worked as a planning engineer and I was working with the project management team, then I noticed that actually that's where my true passion lies uh, in the management side of the construction industry, and I was like, okay, it's time for me to go and pursue a master's degree. How did I arrive to AS? You know, how many, so many people asked me that. I wanted to challenge myself and I wanted to go at a little bit far away from my comfort zone, like approximately 14,000 kilometers away from home. <laughs> and then I saw the pictures of, and the videos of the campus in online, and I was like, it was so stunning, so lovely. I, I was hooked, you know, I was in love. I was like, I feel in love. I, I passed from going like, I want to go here to, I'm definitely going to AUS. One of the challenges that I faced was because Peru is a Spanish native speaker. You know, we don't use English in, the, in our daily basis. So I thought that coming here, uh, talking in English, reading in English, it was going to be so, so hard and, and so challenging. But honestly, it wasn't. Like everybody was so supportive, like when, whenever I was talking, like helping me. And I've been, you know, so grateful to all of them. How do I make focus is because I love deadlines, honestly. Some people they do not, but I love them. For me, it's like something to keep me grounded, to keep me motivated, to keep me... I know I have something to deliver, something to do, that it's like feels like a small accomplishment. Balance your life, you know, as a student, as a research, uh, with your personal activities, so important. And one of the ways I learned and how I improved to do the was when I joined the Graduate Studio Association as part of the media team. So that way helped me, you know, to juggle between my work classes, my projects, my thesis, my research. I would recommend to anyone who wants to come and study a master's or bachelor and go and study abroad that plan ahead because you will require a lot of documents. Probably you will need a TOEFL, you will need, you know, so many uh, steps that you have to do before coming here. Like practice your English skills, especially if you're coming from a non-native English country as myself. And, you know, be open to new opportunities and new cultures. My ultimate role model is my mom. You know, she's always been working so hard to provide a good education for her children. So her determination and dedication was always something that motivated me to try and be better. And I also, I had a really strong support system here in the US. Like, since the moment I applied, uh, Dr. Rame uh, was being there, like, uh, responding to uh, all my doubts, like, accompanying to the process, talking, talking about, like, the program, like, the courses, my the expectations. And I felt like I have the support, you know, to do this and the encouragement uh, to continue to to all of this journey. To all the friends I met here, because we bonded with shared experience about being students who are living abroad, who are like doing a, pursuing a master's degree, uh, even the ones who were pursuing a PhD, giving me their advice, their recommendations. Thank you for listening. Uh, okay, I'm Antoinette, and I hope more students uh, get the motivation to come and study abroad, to come here to AUS. You will love it.